Good evening, friends. Cindy Telesac here, uh, editor at Good Shepherd Publishing and author of The Eloquent Lay Reader. One of the privileges and joys of lay readers is getting the chance to lead a congregation or a small group in one of the prayer services of the Anglican Church, uh, one of the daily offices, either morning prayer, midday prayer, evening prayer, or what I'd like to walk through with you tonight, which is the order of Compline. Compline is a short service that is said together um, just before you go to bed as a great way to end the day and then uh, to begin the next day to have that fresh in your mind. Again, like all the services of the Anglican Church, it is chock full of scripture. Um, our very first Archbishop of the Anglican Church of North America, Bob Duncan, said that the prayer book is the Bible arranged for prayer. I'm sorry, yes, the prayer book, right. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go through this and you will notice a whole lot of scripture. If you don't have a copy of the prayer book, that's okay. You can actually download your own copy of the prayer book um, from the Anglican Church in North America website. You can also buy a hard copy for yourself, either one. Or um, you can follow along with me. I am actually going to share my screen. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to say that if you have your own copy of the Book of Common Prayer, you can just turn to page 57. We will all start together. Uh, let me give you that link one more time and just say, if you need to jot this down, pause the video and uh, write that down. There's a lot of, lot of characters in that URL. And now we will commence. I am going to share my screen so you can read along with me. And I will do a little explaining. It's an interesting service because there are some uh, multiple choice options as you go through, depending on the season, depending on the day of the week, depending on your mood. So I'll explain those when we get to them. All right, I am going to share my screen. And... Here we go. Of course, we're not at the top yet. Sorry, I've got to scroll back. I had walked through this earlier and here we go. Okay. And I'm gonna read off my screen too. I could read out of my prayer book, but then I'm looking down the whole time. All right, let's begin. I will read um, the officiants part, which is in normal type, and you may read along with me the people, which is in bold. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God and Father, we confess to you, to one another, and to the whole company of heaven that we have sinned through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, raise us up to serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. I always forget that this is not Lent, so we are allowed to say Alleluia. And now they give you the choice of several Psalms, and I have chosen for this evening for us to read Psalm 134. Behold now, praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and sing praises unto the Lord. 
The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And then some more choices here. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And now a prayer many people know. We will do the traditional version, which is on the left-hand side of the page. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. And another option here. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Then a collect for Saturdays. Today is not Saturday. We will skip ahead to the next collect, which goes like this. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Then we say together, Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Next, the Nunc Dominus which comes from the Gospel of Luke. It is the song of Simeon, and it goes like this. We can pray together. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people to be a light, to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And again we pray together. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us this night and evermore. Amen. Well, I hope that was a blessing to you this evening as we prepare to tuck in for the night. Um, one more time, if you would like that link to your own copy, a free copy of the Book of Common Prayer. 
Uh, you can again order a hard copy or you can uh, just download the Word document. Also, if you are a lay reader or know a lay reader, would be interested in my book, The Eloquent Lay Reader, I will add a link uh, to where you can find that on Amazon. And in the meantime, my friend, I pray you have a beautiful night and we will pray together again soon. God bless.